just gonna do a little bit of promo. I've had the game booted up for like 10 minutes and this song is really starting to annoy me. I mean, it's cool idle music, but it's idle music that you use when you're... That's amazing commentary. Um... Okay. Right. So, where what happened yesterday was that we went to Eden Prime, and we communicated with a beacon, a Prothean beacon. And now we're going to do a little bit of a conversation before we do anything else. Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. Oh, shit. I forgot that the... F the first thing that you need to do is talk to Joker. I forgot that the last... That's like the last thing you need to be doing. Ah, well. You don't really miss a lot of dialogue. You can always go back for it. Citadel fleet. Well, size isn't everything. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower, too. Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side, then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy, requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower. Normandy out. Normandy, this is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to dock 422. is an outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony! The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Seren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. This is the Citadel. You get to do a painful, painful amount of walking around in the Citadel. But um, that gets ironed out a good bit. Well, I, w I was going to say in Mass Effect 2, but you don't get to go to the... You don't get to go to Alliance-controlled space um, in Mass Effect 2 because of reasons that we'll get to when we get to Mass Effect 2. But um, it's a lot easier to, tra to traverse the Citadel in Mass Effect 3 because of... Um, well, it's like cut-up areas. But uh, anyway... 
Uh, Saren's dangerous. Saren's a threat to every human colony out there. He needs to be stopped. The Council has to listen to us. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not hers. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. And that's why I hate politicians. Some of the politicians in this game are actually quite funny. But, uh... Exhibit A of, uh, shithead. Democrat. I want to say Democrat. Political person. Uh, Councillor Odina is a twat. With a capital W. I skimmed through that, my bad. Um... Oh yeah, um, the Citadel was, I'm just going to hold it on this, I'm not going to read this, but uh, I'm just going to talk over it. Um, the Citadel was found by the Asari, uh, however many years ago, I'm not that much of a nerd. Um, the the Asari found the citadel. The, the ship that they used to roughly twelve hundred years ago, the Turians were in. Why are you talking? Fifty thousand years ago, the Protheans were the only space. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I'm not gonna listen. I'm, uh, I'm not gonna listen to Combat all that. Combat hard suits use a dual layer system to protect. Genetic barriers, more commonly called sh Metagel, is a common... Yeah, I'm not going to go through all that. Um, but yeah, the Destiny Ascension, which was the big Asari ship that, that, was, that we were looking at, um, that was uh, the ship that was used to... Uh, get close to the um to the citadel and i'm just going to do a little bit of a, a look around this guy these are Volus, and these guys are. All right. I will oh, I, I, I can't remember. I don't really care about them because you don't really interact with them much. Um, but these two, they're completely different alien species, but they live. Oh, these are Volus. These guys are called Elcor. Um. They don't have, they have a monotone voice, so in conversations with them, they say, with surprise, you found this, Commander, thank you. While the Volus, they're like, they're also um, immunocompromised, but uh, you don't really, they're more like black market dealers, to be honest. And these guys, these are called Keepers. These are the... This is the alien race that was found on the Citadel. When, even when the Asari first found the place with the Destiny Ascension. They don't talk. You don't talk to them. You don't really converse with them at all. Because... 
it's it's CSEC is like the security detail. CSEC says just do not talk to them or just converse with them at all. Allow me to be your guide. I don't need a guide. I know what I'm doing. Because I am Lieutenant Shepard. Or Commander Shepard. I can't believe I landed a job here. This place is fantastic. Oh, no way. Human delighted welcome. It is good to meet you. It is good to meet you, Mr. Bond. Oh, yeah. They kind of sound like um, Mr. Freeze from the Arkham games. Batman. Meh, 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 meh. The following message was transmitted from an untraceable account to multiple recipients across the extranet. Further monitoring of the situation is warranted. Uh, we must build our own new world. Come join us in the Hawking Eta cluster. Only as one body can we right the wrongs done to our kind. There is an alien race that is like extremely racist towards humans. They're called Batarians. I'm pretty sure that we're gonna have to deal with them. Commander Shepard, I didn't expect to see you here. Did Ambassador Udina send you? No. I came on my own. I need information. You humans are always so curious, always sticking your fingers into someone else's pie. Is that the right expression? Ah, <laughs> uh, never mind. forget I asked. Was there something you needed, Commander? S Attitude towards humans. I get humans. the feeling you're not too fond of humans. No, I just don't trust your kind. Not yet. You humans are eager to take all the power you can get. And you're being given a lot. If the Council wants to make humanity their new favorite pet, that's their business. But I don't have to like it. Spectre? What do you know about the Spectres? They're the right hand of the Council, or so they like to be called. More like the underhanded side of the Council. Don't like them? What do you have against the Spectres? I can't abide any organization that considers itself above the law. Especially when it's left up to each individual Spectre to decide when and how to bend the rules. It's a bit annoying. Sometimes you have to bend the law to keep people safe. I've been with CSEC for 30 years. I've never had to break the law to do my job, not once. Yeah, right. You expect us to believe none of your officers are corrupt? There are over 200,000 CSEC agents. Some of them are going to be bad. But we don't turn a blind eye to corruption like the Spectres do. We do our best to find and punish any officer who breaks the law. Spectres. <laughs> They'll never come under that kind of scrutiny. The Spectres are important. The galaxy needs people like that. People who do the dirty jobs. I agree. But they need to be held to a higher standard. They need to be accountable. Saren's out of control. We both know that. But because he's a specter, the Council doesn't want to do anything about it. Is that the kind of person this galaxy needs? No. But not all specters are like Saren. True. But the potential is always there. True. I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. Okay. Each, uh, a little bit of a tidbit of information, each, um, each companion that you bring along with you, they can, they have their own type of morality system. Like, Shepard, they're usually a blank slate. Caden, he is always Paragon. To the but, Allow me to be your but... If you choose certain dialogue options, you can and will make him renegade, which will end up making him really racist towards different types of aliens. Um, and basically make them make make sorry him make him as racist as Ashley. Ashley, super space racist. Her entire family has been in the the. The military and 
whatever else. Basically everything to do with the military her family's been in. And, um... Citadel Towers, Embassies, and CSEC. Oh, yeah, I gotta go talk to CSEC, I think. Do I have to talk to CSEC? Where do I have to go? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I gotta go to uh, Citadel Tower. Citadel Towers. This way. Where's the big stupid jellyfish? Or does he not come in until later? Look at that bug thing over there. What's it doing? Please do not disturb the keepers. See? You're told not to touch him. Excuse me. The council isn't going to ask me any questions, are they? I doubt it. We've made our reports. Now we just have to trust Ambassador Udina. No, we don't, sir. <sighs> do 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 do. <gasps> Who is that handsome fella? Who are you? Saren's hiding something. Give me mm. more time. Stall them. Stall the council. Don't be ridiculous. How the Your fuck did you get here so fast? Over, Garrus. Hello, Garrus. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vicarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. You don't like Siren? Sounds like you really want to bring him down. I don't trust him. Something about him rubs me the wrong way. But he's a specter. Everything he touches is classified. I can't find any hard evidence. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. Aren't you a fine piece of carbon? You don't want to keep the council waiting. I don't want to keep you waiting. I'll see you in my chambers later. <clears throat> anyway. Uh, yeah, let's go talk to the, uh, the, the council. There is a lot of walking around. I forgot how much walking around you have to fucking do. That's why these, uh, rapid transit things, excuse me. <sighs> That's why those rapid transit things, like, all over the place. Oh, I know you. He's a bit of a... He's a no, bit of a twer, to be honest. But anyway... Captain? The hearing's already started, come on! Captain? Oh, this could be a The death show. attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow Spectre and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson. You always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. How did you get involved? The mission to Eden Prime was top secret. The only way you could know about the beacon was if you were there. With Nihilus gone, his files passed on to me. I read the Eden Prime report. I was unimpressed. But what can you expect? from a human. Insults? Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that! 
That's not his decision! Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor. And mine. Saren's hiding behind his position as a Spectre. You need to open your eyes. What we need is evidence. So far, we've seen nothing. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? You won't see the truth. You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. This meeting is adjourned. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. You lying pricks. I could see I could see you playing Minecraft. I got your ass on satellite. Uh how do you know Saren? Tell me about this history between you and Saren. I worked with him on a mission a long time ago. Things went bad. Real bad. We shouldn't talk about this here. But I know what he's like. And he has to be stopped. Now what? What's our next step? As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the Executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Hello to the new person that joined the chat. How are things? Uh, I'll talk to him. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that loser. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. I'm on it. Uh, the Captain deserves better. You can't just cut Captain Anderson out of this investigation. The Ambassador's right. I need to step aside. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. Uh, any other leads? Maybe there's another way to find evidence against Saren. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the Financial District. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? An information dealer. Buys and sells secrets to the highest bidder. I've heard Balavan's one of the top representatives. He might know something about Saren. But his information won't come cheap. I got well, no money. I got no money. What about you and Saren? You and Saren have a history. What happened? About 20 years ago, I was part of a mission in the Skillian Verge. I was working with Saren to find and remove a known terrorist threat. Saren eliminated his target, but a lot of people died along the way, innocent people. And the official records just covered it all up. But I saw how he operates. No conscience, no hesitation. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a second thought. He's a monster. Killing innocents doesn't end wars, it causes them. I know how the world works, Commander. Sometimes you're forced to make unpleasant decisions. But only if there's no other way. Saren doesn't even look for another option. He's twisted, broken. He likes the violence, the killing. And he knows how to cover his tracks. Um, Barla Vaughn. Tell me about Barla Vaughn. He specializes in moving large sums of money without leaving a paper trail. 
a financial genius, doesn't do anything illegal, but he knows all the loopholes. He's got an impressive client list. Ambassadors, diplomats, specters. That's probably why the Shadow Broker uses him. I should Hi. go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the ambassador's office if you need anything else. I will never see you again. If I'm being honest. Unless the story tells me I need to talk to you. That guy's up to something. What, what are you doing? What? Oh, no, I wasn't. Never mind. Um, yes, is there something you want? What are you doing? Why are you so interested in the Keepers? Keepers? I've got no interest in the Keepers. Don't get coy. I know what I saw. I, uh... I'm not so sure I should be talking to you about this. Right. Just tell me what you're doing. I'm not here to get you into trouble. All right. I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I'm using a small scanner to gather readings on the Keepers. So far I've had mixed results. I find it difficult to get near the creatures. Okay. Why were you being so secretive about it, though? Well, technically we're not supposed to disturb the Keepers. I don't really think my scanning disturbs them, but the authorities might disagree. I'd like to do it more openly, but it's not really worth getting arrested over. Can I can help? help you out. I'm not worried about the authorities. I don't even know who you are. I'm, with I'm the Commander Alliance. Shepard with the Alliance military. Hmm. Well, I, I suppose I could use the help. You'll need this. It's the scanning device I developed. Activated each time you see a keeper. All collected data will automatically upload to my database. I'll even send a few credits your way for each unique scan. Okay. I should get going then. Yes, I have much work myself. So long, and good luck with the scanning. Fetch quest. Yay. Oh, I haven't spoken to him before. Thirty credits. Yeah, I wonder if these types of side quests like actually like, account for progression. Cause I need to have like a certain amount of progression for it to count as seventy-five percent. Volus won't be joining the council for years. I'm not so sure. It'll never join the council. Never ever. Those weird little guys. Oh. I'm pretty sure that's all of the keepers that are inside the this little area anyway. So let's get the fuck out of here. I need to go to C-Sec now. So I can go talk to this Harkin fella. Everyone does. Welcome to the presidio. Okie dokie. <laughs> Anyone else hear that low hum? Sounds like it's coming from that statue. Makes my teeth tingle. This statue is important, and you will figure that out later on in the game. But, um... It's a little... It's a little reference to something that's yet to come. Oh, dear, 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 dear. Oh, there it is. The Hanar. That big jellyfish dude is called a Hanar. Believes it has the right to move freely through this area. 
Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Or has the Honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? The, this is a Hanar. They believe that the Protheans were gods, so they call them the Enkindlers, as in Enkindlers of Life. Um, and they also have like a monotone voice, so they also have um, their physical name. They have a physical name, and then they have a spiritual name. Um, their spiritual name is really long and stupid. Uh, their physical name is also long and stupid. But, um, anyway, having trouble? Why is the CSEC officer harassing you? The CSEC officer requests that this one purchase an evangelical permit to spread the truth of the Enkindlers. Get out. This is the Presidium, not a church. Evangelize somewhere else. This one's beliefs will not be suppressed. If others wish to try... That Hanar refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? Let the Hanar talk. I think you should let the Hanar preach in the Presidium. The Presidium is a place of culture and respect. It should not be filled with zealots shouting their idiocy. Why should the jellies get special treatment? Every <laughs> other species understands and obeys the laws. What if I bought a permit? If I purchased the evangelical permit myself, would that take care of things? As long as it stays in approved areas once it has the permit, yes. That would solve the issue for me. You see? I can't use any of the karma. I'll be back. I don't care what you have to do. Just get rid of that Hanar. <sighs> I'll be back. Just, uh, one minute, friendo. Whoopsie-daisy. I didn't mean to go weapons-free. Uh, C-Sec HQ. <sighs> it's back the way I came, Jesus Christ. It's like, a, it's like a maze. You never really get used to it. It is always, always a maze one way or another. Okay. So now I gotta go buy this feckin' permit. And also talk to your man. Wherever he may be. Hello again to whoever joins just there. So, Williams, are you happy you signed on with Commander Shepard? I'm not sure, Lieutenant. Every time I think I have a handle on things, the universe banks hard to port. Well, don't let anybody know. A big gun and a confident attitude will get you through a lot in life. Okay, let's have a little uh, look around. Oh yeah! You don't really get to see Salarians, but it's either humans or uh, Turians that are working for CSEC. It's a bit weird, I'm not gonna lie, a little bit weird. You only usually see Turians and humans. In light in the of the recent game. attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. Hello to whoever joined just there. I guess this could technically be counted as a, uh... A 40 subscriber special, I suppose. I wonder if I can... Change that. No, I can't. Anyway. 
Officer Lang. Hey, I know you. You're Shepard, right? I was on Mindwar during the Blitz. Saw you on the vids when you got your medal. You saved the whole colony. Looks like you have a fan. I'm sorry, I just never thought I'd meet someone like you in person. Uh, my name's Lang, Officer Eddie Lang, Citadel Security. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. What are you doing down here in the wards? Anything I can help you with? Where's Harkin? Do you know a CSEC officer named Harkin? I shouldn't really say too much. He's been on the force a lot longer than me. But I've heard things, you know? Drinking on the job, taking bribes, that kind of thing. Rumors mostly, but they suspended him, so some of it must be true. Hello to whoever joined. How's your day going? Uh, CSEC. Why'd you join Citadel Security? I don't know. Seemed like the right thing to do, you know? Maybe it's in my blood. My grandfather was a cop back on Earth. It's kind of what CSEC is. Police for the Citadel. I'm still pretty new at it, but I like it so far. Way more interesting than staying back on Earth. You get to meet all kinds of cool aliens. Like those Hanar. Wild. Plus, CSEC gets a lot of respect here. We uphold the law. People, even aliens, appreciate that. Alright, bye-bye. I have to go. Right. You're probably real busy. No. See Public extranet terminal. Okie dokie. Um, where am I going? Hang on. Med med clinic door. Oh, it's a shop. Hello. Hello there, Commander. I'm Dr. Clo Michel. Is there something I can do for you? I need supplies. Let me take a look at what you have for sale. Of course. Oh, why is everything so expensive? I just started the game, so like it makes sense that everything's expensive, but like... Come on. I'm gonna buy that for myself. Fire containment system. Yeah, there's not really a lot going on here except for a view of the nebula, which is quite pretty. But again, still image. Yeah, there's stuff moving, but it's just a PNG just moving. It's not necessarily animated. To Presidium. What's going on here? Another vendor. I'm not intentionally going to vendors, I'm just finding it like... Oh. Citadel Rapid... Sorry. Oh shit. <laughs> uh, overload. I also hate those weird possible reasons. Hello to whoever joined us there. Oh dear god. Ah! Nudity. Hello. 
got business here, but not with you. All right, life, Jesus. Not now. I'm watching the show. <laughs> Back off, Rex. Fist told us to take you down if you showed up. What are you waiting for? I'm standing right here. This is Fist's only chance. If he's smart, he'll take it. He's not coming out, Rex. End of story. This story is just beginning. Out of my way, humans. I have no quarrel with you. What was that all about? Who knows? Let's just try not to get caught in the middle. That's Rex. We'll meet up with him again sometime in the future. Hey there, sweetheart. You looking for some fun? I gotta say, that soldier get-up looks real good on that body of yours. Why don't you sit your sweet little ass down beside old Harkin? Have a drink. We'll see where this goes. Ew. No thanks. Maybe later. Suit yourself, princess. You know, if more marines looked like you, I might have joined the Alliance instead of CSEC. Maybe you can help me. Harkin, right? I was told you could help me find someone. A Turian CSEC officer named Garrus. Garrus? <laughs> you must be one of Captain Anderson's crew. Poor bastard still trying to bring Saren down, eh? I know where Garrus is, but you gotta tell me something first. Did the captain let you in on his big secret? What secret? Is there something I should know about the captain? The captain used to be a specter. Didn't know that, did you? It was all very hush-hush. The first human ever given that honor, and then he blew it. Screwed up his mission so bad they kicked him out. Of course, he blames Saren. Says the Turians set him up. That's not why I'm here, and I Just don't fucking care. Garrus, went. Garrus was sniffing around Dr. Michelle's office. She runs the med clinic on the other side of the wards. Last I heard, he was going back there. Okay. Bye. I'm out of here. Yeah, good. Go. Let me drink in peace. This seems like five minutes ago. You're trying. You're trying to get me to sit on your face, you asshole. The back rooms are private, reserved for Fist and his friends. Fist. Who's Fist? He owns this club, but the customers have to stay out front. Other Krogan. What did that other Krogan want? Rex. Personal matter. Not okay. real chatty, is he? Okay, Goodbye. bye. Enjoy the club. This guy is a Krogan. The guy that just went away there, his name is Rex. He's an awesome, awesome character. He kind of hates anything who's not Krogan. He's a bit of a racist, I want to say. A space racist, but Cro uh, Commander Shepard kind of t t uh, Commander Shepard uh, tends to grow on Moreland. Hello there. Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies. Supplies. Yes. Gimme. Let me see what you have. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good things I have. You will see. Gimme. Um, but, um, yeah. You, 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 you kind of tend to grow on Rex, and then Rex kind of starts to see that, uh... Elinus Risk Control License. Uh, for the Normandy Quartermaster. Oh, yeah. You have to buy licenses so that you're able to um, procure stuff from the the weapons vendor on the Normandy. So, uh, yeah. You gotta buy those licenses when you find them. Or else you'll be in the middle of fucking nowhere having to go to and from the Citadel just to get something. But there is also a little bit of a teensy bit, like a 10% re uh, increase to... Um, a 10% increase to the prices. Because of, well, it's cheaper just to just get it. At the tank. Actually, no, I need to have a look around because I'm pretty sure you need to buy the license. 
Oh, this one. Excuse me, Commander Shepard. What? I'm Emily Wong. I'm an investigative journalist working here on the Citadel. Could I have a moment of your time? Yeah. What do you need? I've been hunting for evidence of corruption and organized crime on the Citadel, but there are places I can't go. I was hoping you might share anything you find during your own investigation. I can make it worth your time. Okay. Sounds like a good cause. If I find any information, it's yours. Thank you, Commander. You won't regret it. I feel like I might. Okie dokie, what's going on over here? What's going on over yeah. Look, I know it was you, I remember your face. Really, that's impressive. Usually you keep Best place on this ward to buy upgrades. Cool. Hello, Earth Clan. No doubt you've just come back from the colonies. Will you be needing supplies? Yes. Show me what you've got. Most excellent. I am sure you will find something pleasing. Sorry, one second. I just need to check something. Oh, it has. Cool, 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 cool. I just wanted to check if something updated. Uh, Cypher 2. Elkos Combine. And then Conrad. You're Commander Shepard, the hero of Eden Prime. I am so honored to meet you. Okie dokie. Uh, uh, pleasure's all mine. Nice to meet you. And you are? My name is Conrad. Conrad Werner. They say you killed more than a hundred Geth on Eden Prime. I just tried to help. I spent most of my time trying to stay alive and help the colonists. Hey, I know you're probably busy, but um, do you have time for a quick autograph? Hello to whoever joined just there. How's your day been? Hey, thank you. I just saw, I just heard something whisper in my ear, hey Pookie, and I know for a fact that's from the game, from the chat. <sighs> Hello, man. Uh, yeah, you can have my autograph. Anything for a fan. Here. Thanks. I really appreciate it. My wife is going to be so impressed. I'll let you get back to work. Oh, but next time you're on Earth, I'd love to buy you a drink. Thanks again! Hello, Dylan O'Sullivan. Welcome to the chat. It's Dylan Dicklips. <sighs> yeah, I can see that. Like it says your name like right next to the text, so I could kind of tell that it was Dylan. <laughs> All right. So anyway, Garrus. Well, what do you want me to be? Like, oh my God, Dylan O'Sullivan! No way. My number one fan! I didn't tell anyone, I swear! That was smart, Doc. Now if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut around. Who are you? Yes. Let her go. Ah! Enemy sighted! Fuck him up! There we go. That's one achievement down that I needed to get. Electronics. <laughs> Hello to whoever joined just there. Welcome to the chat. How was your day? Oh my god, I got five viewers. Where are you at? Where are you at? There we go. Area secured. 
Hey yo, Dylan, thanks for the 50 gifted. Welcome to the chat. Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that best. I don't know how to make clips. This is YouTube. I don't know how to make clips. Um, I can probably do something and like uh, download the stream and then do like a best bits or something like that. Excuse me. Uh, it was a big risk. What were you thinking? You could have hit the hostage. There wasn't time to think. The hostage. I just reacted. I didn't mean to. Dr. Michelle, are you hurt? No, I'm okay. Thanks to you, all of you. We can protect you. Tell you out. But if you tell us who they work for, we can protect you. They work for Feast. Let's keep they it a PG in chat. I appreciate the offer, but um, let's keep it a PG in the chat. Uh, the Quarian. What Quarian? A few days ago, a Quarian came by my office. She'd been shot, but she wouldn't tell me who did it. I could tell she was scared, probably on the run. She asked me about the Shadow Broker. She wanted to trade information in exchange for a safe place to hide. Where'd you go? Where is she now? I put her in contact with Fist. He's an agent for the Shadow Broker. Not anymore. Now he works for Saren. And the Shadow Broker. I heard footsteps then. <laughs> trade the Shadow Broker? That's stupid, even for him. Saren must have made him quite the offer. The Quarian must have something Saren wants. Something worth crossing the Shadow Broker to get. May um maybe they got evidence. She must have something that proves he's a traitor. Did the Quarian mention anything about Saren or the Geth? She did. The information she was going to trade. She said it had something to do with this. This guy like Hello to whoever joined just there. The maximum that we now have is four follow or not four followers, four people in the chat. That is honestly amazing. I'm getting incredibly popular. I'm really happy for myself. Uh, we need to find her. Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. Uh, why do you hate Saren? Why do you want to bring him down? I couldn't find the proof I needed in my investigation, but I knew what was really going on. Saren is a traitor to the Council and a disgrace to my people. I'm so hard right now. Man. Okay, Dylan. I have text to speech on, so I don't need to be looking at chat all the time, but like, I, it's like a woman's voice saying into my ear, right? Whatever you say, whatever anyone says in the chat, you don't need to do that. <laughs> you don't need to do that. Anyway, you made your case. Welcome aboard, Garrus. You know, we aren't the only ones going after Fist. The Shadow Broker hired a Krogan bounty hunter named Rex to take him out. Well, hey. Yeah, we saw him in the bar. We could use him. A Krogan might okay, come. sorry, Pookie. Last I heard, he was at the CSEC Academy. Don't worry about it. What's he doing there? Fist accused him of making threats. We brought Rex in for a little talk. If you hurry, you can catch him at the Academy before he leaves. Move out. Uh... Caden and Garrus, because that is all I ever need. Fuck Ashley. All my homies hate Ashley. Space racist. And also there's Garrus, because... It's Garrus, goddamn. Um, okay, I leveled up. So, gonna do some charm. And then... Engineer, assault rifle... Um, hang on, let me just check the, uh, the achievement I got. Nah, I'll check that later, don't worry about it. Um, and then... My punch has joined the chat. Oh, no way. Mike Hunt? That's amazing. Big fan. Uh, 
first aid barrier and then throw and then turn agent tactical armor assault rifles and then first aid this is a solid first aid interface uh I don't know how to fucking use that. But anyway, um, I'm going to go down to the uh, the academy. Because if I'm in the academy, or if I go down to the academy, then I can go talk to... Hey, I'm your biggest fan. I edge to all your videos. God almighty, you don't need to be saying that stuff in the chat. Actually, unique dialogue if you get Garrus and Rex in this in in your in your group, so you can um before you go and talk to a uh, fist. Well, Garrus, any regrets about leaving Citadel security? Fighting a rogue specter with countless lives. I'm missing myself. No regulations to get in the way. I'd say that beat CSEC. Well, we don't lack for excitement. Jesus Christ, man. Hello again to whoever joined the chat. Uh, oh, there he is. Rex! Hello! Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I... Oi, Dylan, that's you in the red. Go swear on. to God. Get out of here. Do I know you, human? My name's Shepard. My name's Shepard. I'm going after Fist. Thought you might want to come along. <sighs> Shepard. Commander Shepard. I've heard a lot about you. Hello to whoever joined We're the chat. Both warriors, Shepard. Whoever joined the stream, respect, hello. How was your day? I'm going to kill this. All right. This knows you're coming. We'll have a better chance if we all work together. My people have a say. Seek the enemy of your enemy, and you will find a friend. Welcome aboard. Glad to have you on the team, Rex. Let's go. I hate to keep Fist waiting. I hate to keep Fist waiting. Okay, biotic strength. Yep, that's pretty much a really solid group to have with each other at all times. Um, but because of that, I'm gonna have to go over to Rex and then. Mommy said you just left for milk. It's been two months. <laughs> oh, jeez. Christ. <laughs> oh. Anyway. Yeah. Rex, keep that fucking helmet on. Oh. At ease. At ease. At ease. Right, but anyway, I like his. I like Garrus's helmet, though. I like Garrus. So fine, bro. All right, like. Okay. Um. Now I need to go down towards Fist, and over by Fist, I'll be able to find that quarry as well. Run into an unexpected problem after unearthing a Prothean dig site. Hanar protesters have blockaded the dig site, claiming that artifacts of the Enkindlers, as the Hanar call them, should not be disturbed. The excavation team has appealed to Hanar representatives on the Citadel to reach a diplomatic solution. Shout out, Dr. Pepper. Much loves Dr. Pepper. Serious question. Do you eat batty? 
Depends. Whee! Um, I will refrain from uh, answering that question, as it could uh, do something to my uh, my account. That and I, I, I wanted to be like suggested, suggested to people, you know. But, um, uh, I will refrain from answering that question. Oh, wait, no, I need, I need to go to this way. Fuck's sake. Actually, hang on, equipment. Can I go to... I can. Oopsie daisy. Scimitar, scimitar, scimitar. That's fine. Yeah, give Garrus a three sniper. Um, I'm gonna give myself the Banshee. Hang on. Oh wait, no, mine's better. Never mind. Uh, gonna give Rex the Banshee. You look like you eat sand. I look like I eat sand. What? I eat sand. Punk ass bitch. Hello to whoever joined the chat. I'm on it. Uh. Sabotage. Sabotage. Hello to whoever joined the chat again. Hello. How was your day? Daddy, please come home. Mommy beats me. Oh my All right, be quiet, you. <laughs> I'm in the middle of a gunfight and I don't need you talking that way in my ear. Zesty, all, all zesty-like. Oh, watch this. 360 no scope. Fuck. 360 no scope. Fuck's sake. 360 no scope. Yeah. 360. Quick scope. Stop right there. Don't come any closer. Warehouse workers. All the real guards must be dead. Stay back. I am Paul New of D. Batrides, Duke of Arrakis. Hello there, whoever just joined the chat. How are things? How was your day? I'm not even going to mention what's been going on in the chat. Uh, save yourselves. This would be a good time to find somewhere else to work. Yeah, yeah, right. That's a good idea. Yeah, I never like Fist anyway. It would have been quicker to just kill them. Shooting people isn't always the answer. Damn right, Garrus. Chat is, dead. Chat is dead. I mean, like my love life. Man, there's a lot of things dead, like your love life. Anyway, um, sweet Jesus. Oh, sweet fuck, Jesus Christ! How do? Wait, hang on. What's the what's the heal button? Uh, controls. Oh, sweet. Oh, triangle. There we go. Wait! Don't kill me, 
I surrender. A smart move. Where's the Quarian? She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. He's no use to you now. Okay, Dylan, Let thank you for putting putting wait, some time wait, into the, the is, chat and making it lively. The Quarian isn't here. Said you don't know the shadow broker himself. Face to face? Impossible. Even I was hired through an agent. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker, ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. We have to save her. Give me the location, now. Here on the wards, the back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. What are you doing? The Shadow Broker paid me to kill him. I don't leave jobs half done. You surrender. Don't shoot unarmed prisoners. How many people died because of him? He brought this on himself. Besides, we have more pressing concerns. That Quarian's dead if we don't go now. Hang on, I gotta open all this stuff right now. I'm not gonna lie, the music for this part is like really good. Hello, whoever just joined. Sabotage. Sabotage. Uh -huh. Back streets of the market, so it's right here. Hey, dude. Did you bring it? Where's the shadow broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. Nice one, Tally. And that is Tally. She is like my favorite female character in the entire Jesus Christ. She's like my favorite. This set me up. I knew I couldn't trust him. This is Tally. She is Aquarian. She is like my favorite female character in the entire game. She's just a massive sweetheart. Are you okay? Were you hurt? Hello, fight? John John I know UK. How to look after myself. Not that I don't appreciate the help. Who are you? I'm a friend. My name's Shepard. I'm looking for evidence to prove Saren's a traitor. Then I have a chance to repay you for saving my life. But not here. We need to go somewhere safe. We could take her to the human embassy. Your ambassador will want to see the this. comments have me wheezing. Yeah, there's been a You're lot of stuff in the my comments. Life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards and all out assault on Cora's den. Do you know how many? Who's this? The Quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? Uh hello to whoever just joined the chat there. Uh she can help us. Making your day, Ambassador. She has information linking Saren to the Geth. Really? Maybe you better start at the beginning, Miss. My name is Tali. Tali Zora Narai. No means no Dylan. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? Dylan's already long like gone. Language. My rite of passage into adulthood. Dylan had to go like five minutes before you came into the chat, John John. Uh, pilgrimage? I've never heard of this before. It is a tradition among my people. 
When we reach maturity, we leave the ships of our parents and our people behind. Alone, we search the stars, only returning to the flotilla once we have discovered something of value. In this way, we prove ourselves worthy of adulthood. Uh, hello, whoever just joined there. How was your day? How's things? Uh, something of value? What kinds of things do you look for? It could be resources like food. How this hairline looks like Magneto's moss. Or even knowledge that will make life easier on Let's leave flotilla. college it's out of the we chat. That we will contribute to the community, rather than being a burden on our limited resources. Uh, for the sake of people coming here and just watching someone play a video game and just conversing in the comments, let's leave college life out of the group chat. Let, uh, let's leave college life out of the uh, out of the chat. Let's leave leave everything that can be stressful at the door, at the at the phone screen before you click into YouTube and subscribe and like the stream but primarily subscribe to <clears throat> commander underscore fanta on youtube as well as my instagram greybork16 my true self my true self is the fella in the far back because he's got that dog in him anyway please continue tell us what you found during my travels i began hearing reports of geth since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Vale. I was curious and loved me, Anne. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become oh. separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried Peace, low flower power, bro. Died. Some kind of defense mechanism. Go on. What did you find out? Most of the core was wiped clean. But I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer. John, John, what is your true name? That jo uh, John, John this is. He was in the uh, Tamsin. We got him. Saren won't get out of this one. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. No need for safety, don't want to get molested. Eden Prime was a major victory. Whoops. Beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. <laughs> and Adding. one step closer to the return of the Reapers. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. Reapers? What are they? Are they some kind of new alien species? According to the Memory Core, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. She's right. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Pathos. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life, and they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. Jesus Christ. <laughs> They need to know. The Reapers are a threat to every species in Citadel space. We have to tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audio files prove Saren's a traitor. The captain's right. We need to present this to the Council right away. What about her, the quarry? My name is Tom. Lady of the Nog. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know have what a strong. I can do. Let me come with you. What about your quest? Thought you were on your pilgrimage. The pilgrimage proves we are willing to give of ourselves for the greater good. What does it say about me if I turn my back on this? All right. Saren is a danger to the entire galaxy. My pilgrimage can wait. All right, you could be useful. I'll take all the help I can get. Thanks. You love you, babe. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the council. Me too, bro. Me Take too. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. 
I like apples and bananas. Me too, bro, me too. Just keep it at uh, Rex and Garrus. Um, Okie dokie. Now we have to go all the way back to the fucking council. Whoops, I got to walk into a wall. Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Could you spare a moment of your time? I could, yeah. Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Bhatia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. I'm happy to it's help. It's no trouble. What can I do for you? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Did they say why? Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. We'll put this There's right. There's no reason for your wife's body to be held like this. Just wait here. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive Broken. bar over there. Thank you for your time. What? I just want to give my wife a proper funeral. And the respect she deserves. What? <sighs> Have I mentioned that this is uh, our 40 subscriber stream? It's our special. It's our special time. Shout out to the person you know who you are for being my 40th subscriber. I ain't gonna mention you by name because you would kick my fucking ass. Anyway. My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the diplomatic corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? I'm here for Samesh. Yes. A man named Samesh Bhatia is having some trouble claiming his wife's body. Ah, Mr. Bhatia. A good man in an understandably frustrating position. I wish I could help him. Serviceman Nirali Bhatia died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Bhatia no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is- My mom said I am her special boy. Congratulations, Dylan. Uh, she's toxic? You think that her body might be dangerous or contaminated? No, Commander. Nurali Bhatia is not dangerous. Her body is in fact extremely valuable to the Alliance. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, Serviceman Bhatia may save more lives in death than she did in life. This isn't right. Understand what you're trying to do, but holding the body is wrong. Commander, you of all people should understand how far we must go to protect humanity. I do, and you're wrong. Not if we lose our humanity in the process. I am out here fighting to stop crap like this. All right, Commander. You win. It was hard enough refusing Mr. Bhatia. I'm not going to risk an incident by refusing you. Tell Better Smash not. that the body is being shipped back to Earth. I'll go now I to love Bhatia. Bhatia. <sighs> Me too, bro. Me too. Um, Private Fredericks. What do you want? Oh, Commander. Uh -huh. Is there something I can do for you? Consort? What can you tell me about the Asari consort? I, uh... Well, she's an Asari who works here as... That is, she helps people with... Things. Ha <laughs> ha ha! You've never been, have you, boy? I, uh... No, boy. I never did. Uh, I couldn't afford it. It costs half a year's credits just to... Go in and talk to her. Oh, man. Rex is just... Badass. Garrus is just fucking amazing and sexy in his own way. Anyway, uh, where is she? Can you at least tell me where I can find her? Sure. She's across the bridge from the embassies. Across the bridge from the embassies. Yeah, that's like it's not gonna like narrow it down at all. There's a lot of stuff that's over the fucking bridge from the embassies. If you don't know what I'm doing, I have to do a side quest to scan the Keeper guys, so I can get money. Oh, I wish there was more humans around. There we go. Hey, Samash. Hello again, Commander. Has there been any word? 
She's coming I home. Mr. Bosker what we're fighting for. Excuse me. Your wife is coming home. Thank you. I will return home Love and has no other desire but to fulfill it itself. But if you love and it must needs hate desires, let these be your desires, to melt and be like Ra. To melt and be like a running book that sings its melody to the night. That is a bar. Where was that from? Also, because I'm a female character, I'm able to romance Garrus, as I wouldn't be able to if I was being a male character. But, um... So, that's why I keep going. Like, ooh, Garrus. Mm. <clears throat> Bites lip. Um, I made it up. You did not make it up, you fucking lover at heart. Why is his thing so short? I've had my office rearranged five times. Oh, no way. Your office been rearranged five times, man. Fuck off. Hello. Welcome. I am Nelina. I sat toast for breakfast. What? Would you like me to see when the consort will be able to meet with you? I need an appointment. Can I just go in? I'm afraid not. Yeah, you must understand there are many who seek the consort services. But if you wish to leave your name, she'll make every effort to meet with you. All right. Commander Shepard, with the Alliance Navy. Excellent. You should hear something in um, three or four months. Okay, are Nobody's you serious? Worth that much of a wait. <laughs> well, that's not for me to judge. I have your name and you'll be contacted. Is there anything else? No, I bye. think I'm done here. Oh, well, I hope you'll return again in the future. We always enjoy seeing new clients. Nalina. Relax, I yes, just want to take some pictures. Send the commander <coughs> to see me. I wish to speak with her. Yes, of course, mistress. Does it jiggle? Why the fuck is she being so... Lust you, huh. lust you. It appears the consort has taken notice of you. She'd like to meet with you now. What does wash? What does wash jiggle? Where do I go? Just head upstairs. She'll be waiting for you. Like I said, please keep the chat PG. I see even the humans find the consort irresistible. Welcome. It is a pleasure to see you. This is my first time. I can't believe I didn't come sooner. <laughs> You're with the Alliance. My brother's a private back on Earth. Your brother's a bitch. I'm Commander fucking Shepard, and your and your brother's nothing, nothing. I feel like I'm gonna get attacked here. That is close enough, Commander. I've heard a great many things about you since your arrival here in our citadel. Who are you? What I knew a woman, you? lovely in her bones. When small birds sighed, she would sigh back at them. Ah, uh, when she moved, she moved more ways than one. That's a bar. Tell me what. Maybe I can help. I have a friend, Septimus, a retired Turian general. I won't discuss the details, but he wanted me to be more than I could be. We had a falling out. Now he spends his days in Cora's den, drinking and spreading lies about me. Okay. If you would speak to him as a fellow soldier, I believe he will listen to you and let the matter be. Okay. What exactly do you want me to tell him? Appeal to a sense of honor. Remind him of his position as a general. If you can convince him to stop spreading lies about me, I would be very grateful. Grateful, she now says. Now I must ask you to take your leave. I have many clients waiting to see me. Oh yeah, I bet you have a lot of clients. I'm pretty sure she's like an Aradat Yakshi. The blue aliens, they're called Asari. The Aradat Yakshi, they're like a... Uh, think of it as like a sub-species of Asari, where like... Okay, it's a lot... It's a lot of... Double cheeked up on a Thursday afternoon, Hellaras, the sun is still out. 
basically an Ardot Yakshi is um it's a uh, it's a, it's a subspecies of a sari that um well The way that the Asaris mate is that they uh, they kind of like meld their mind with yours, and then you kind of become an, a single entity during the uh, the the act. I to a summer's day. <laughs> more lovely and more temperate. Rough winds do shake the darling buds of May and summer's leaf. Binary Helix has settled Jesus out of court Christ. with a Krogan group that had accused the Genetics Corporation of fraud. The Krogan group had contracted Binary Helix to perform studies with a long-range goal of curing their genetic sterilization. The group later sued for a return of investment money when the study produced no viable results. I just threw an empty bottle of Dr. Pepper, not sponsored, uh, at the bin. And I still fucking missed. Let's uh go into the docking bay. I'm surprised bay. that you're willing to kill your own race. Aren't the Krogan just a few generations away from extinction? You don't get it. For all your talk of honor and pride, the Turians never had to test their principles in a real struggle. Anyone who fights us is either stupid or on Saren's payroll. Killing the latter is business. Killing the former is a favor to the universe. Bar. Oh shit, right. Huh. I need to come back here later because this is how you get to and from around the place. Um, but I need. Of Eden Prime, we present oh my another God. I need to go to. And watch this goddamn combo. A devoted wife and talented chef, serviceman Batia, joined the Alliance military under the Deferred Education Plan. I After finishing have... her service, Batia planned no to open idea. a restaurant. Instead, she gave her life protecting the colonists of Eden Prime. For more profiles in Courage, or to explore opportunities in the military, please visit the Alliance Military on the Extranet. Keyword, Courage. I need to go to... Ah, yeah, right, 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 right. I need to go over to the Council. But that being said, I... <laughs> what?! In what? News, Francis Kitt has announced Is plans to direct pink? Hamlet with Elcor cast members. The production will open dramatic theater to the Elcor with a Hamlet who uses Elcor body language and pheromones. Kitt claims that I'm going to put you on timeout for the chance to judge Hamlet by his deeds and not I'm going to put emotions. you on timeout for a minute so you can't fucking talk. <laughs> Because you are being down bad. You're being thirsty. You're, de you're not even thirsty, you're dehydrated. You, you sir, you need to like, cool your jets. All right, bucko. Is it pink, he says. Jeez Louise. Where the fuck's the... Oh yeah, it's over here. The, uh, the dude should be over here now. I think he might. <laughs> yeah, there's uh, Septimus. Commander! Sure, you sent me? I'm here on Shayira's behalf. Your lies are hurting her. Good. Her lies have been killing me for days. 
I've seen a lot of horrible things in my days, and there's only one woman in this damn galaxy that helps me forget it. This is pathetic. What could a woman do to put you in this state? Because she rejected me. Me! Septima Soraka, General of the Turian Fleet. I understand. I think I can see why you're upset, but spreading these lies won't make it better. Look, kid, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but don't waste your time. Straighten up. General, did you ever win a battle by moping in a bar? Ha, <laughs> war. That's what this feels like, all right. How did I let it come to this? So you think it's that easy? Just straighten up and act like a general? Yeah. The demo couldn't hurt. <sighs> Maybe you're right, Commander. Shaira. I'm tall when I'm young, and I'm short when I'm old. What am I? I'm tall when I'm young, and I'm short when I'm old. What am I? Glad to hear it. There's no place for someone of your stature, General. Hmm. All right. I'll go to her. After I've had a cold shower. Say, so you're a bright kid. Would you be interested in earning a few extra credits? Hey, chat. Chat. What gets, what gets bigger the more you take away? What do you want me to do? <laughs> There's an Elcor diplomat out there who believes Shaira gave up his secrets. Why is that? Because I told him. Look, I just need you to convince him of the truth. Okay. Makes you think he'll believe me. You'll bring him proof. Take this data pad. It shows where I got my info. You will exonerate Shaira and convince the Elcor. Where to? Who am I taking it to? And where is he? His name is Zaltan. He's an Elcor diplomat. He's over in the embassies complaining about Shaira. Well, here's to soldiers acting like soldiers. Thanks, Commander. You know, you might make a good general. My yourself. Corey. <laughs> it was a misinput. Misinput. Calm down. Calm the fuck. Hello to whoever just joined. How was your day? How are things? Come, sit, have a drink. Tell us your life story. Ayo. What do you mean, Ayo? There's no proof. Proof of what, exactly? Shh, shh, shh. Um, now I need to, uh, Presidium, uh, Embassies, and this is fast travel, it is quite literally fast as a fuck, you know me to be your guide. We talk about the political and economic state of the world right now. Oh my god, I haven't heard that in fucking ages. Jaden Smith, shut your ass up. Hello there, human. Sincere apology, but I am here on business and I feel. cannot be distracted right now. Hello, Mary Ellen, and welcome to the chat. Please like, subscribe, and uh, kick up your feet and... Uh, sp spin us a tale of this, that, and the other. That's why I'm I here. To talk to you about your little problem. Curious. What do you know about the consort and her relationship to me? I can help you. I know who revealed your secret. It was a Turian named Septimus. Unbelieving. 
I know this Septimus, and he could not learn my secrets. The only way he could learn them is from the Asari consort. Here, there should be proof enough for you. Does it hang? <laughs> this is difficult to fathom. <laughs> if the Turian could learn this on his own, dismayed. I will not answer that, Dylan. Anyone can discover my secret. You'll be fine. Septimus is a powerful man, and it wasn't easy for him to find. Relieved. I suppose you are correct, human. Thank you for this information. Startled realization. I must speak with the consort. She will be most displeased with my actions. Anxious request. Please, human. If you will excuse me, I must go now. Bye bye. I'm sure she'll forgive you. It was an honest mistake. Doubtful. Perhaps you are right, human. I can only hope so. Thankful. That was a great thing you did, Commander. Approving. You see, then not all humans are as you say. <laughs> Sure, the Earth Clan stands to profit from this in some way. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. Okay, now it's actually time to finish this, uh, this little bit. This little bit. So let's go to the... <laughs> oh man. Citadel Tower. Yo Dylan, thanks for 50 gifted. Anyway, time to give up this proof. Come on. Udina's presenting the Quarian's evidence to the Council. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? I'm not drunk, you're drunk. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status, and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his hey, crimes. Hey, yo! I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. Uh, hel hello to whoever just joined just there. Welcome to the chat. Kick up a seat. Kick up your legs, take a seat. Uh, spin us a tail and... And just like and subscribe. Uh, Matriarch Benezia. Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience. They serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Benezia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. The Geth revere them. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the Conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this conduit is? Hello to whoever joined. Kick back a seat, like and subscribe, and enjoy. Not yet. Saren thinks it can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out Does all it know life the meaning galaxy? of life. Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. Uh, does it know the meaning of life? Um, you get a Geth companion in Mass Effect 2, and it asks the Quarian, uh, does this unit have a soul? Mm. And, uh... It's a bit of like a really sad moment in Mass Effect 3 when the the Geth finally answers that question and Tally also answers that question, but um, that's for another day. Uh, the Reapers are real. I tried to warn you about Saren and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. 
This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. I've seen them. It's the big feckin' ship. 50,000 years of chatting about the ship. all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the Conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet cannot track down one man. A Citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. I am not chatting a bag of shit. I am telling you what is going on. When did I ask? Man! <sighs> Do you know what? No, fuck you, that's it. You're on timeout for five minutes. So you'll do nothing. Every time humanity asks for help, you ignore us. Shepard's right. I'm sick of this council and its anti-human bull- Ambassador. <laughs> there is another solution. A way to stop Saren that does not require fleets or armies. No. It's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. Hello to the two people that just joined. Kick up a seat and enjoy. How's your day been? Uh, it's the best solution. You don't have to send a fleet into the Traverse, and the Ambassador gets his human Spectre. Everybody's happy. Commander Shepard, step forward. Aye. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. Thank you. I'm honored, Counselor. We're sending you into the Traverse after Saren. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. Any, any idea where to find him? We will forward any relevant files to Ambassador Udina. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. I'm a Spectre, motherfucker. Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. <sighs> Bastard didn't even thank you. Don't blame Until me. Until I find Saren, I haven't done anything. Come on. Right behind you, Shepard. Spectre training talent unlocked. Hello to whoever just joined. Kick up a seat, tell us your life story, and have fun. Sit back and enjoy. Like and subscribe. Uh, did this guy just... Did, 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 did that guy just, like, fall over just there? I swear to God, I just saw him. Anyway, um... C-Sec. 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 C-Sec.
Uh, hello, guy. Hello, whoever just joined. Like and subscribe. Where is this? Where is this guy at? Map. Oh, it's over here. Right. Got it. 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 Got it, got it. training elite agents of the council of the specter has increases health accuracy and effectiveness of all attacks and powers grants unity ability all right then doubles your store discount oh. and then first aid uh turn agent decryption tactical armor Assault rifles, shotguns, proficiency unlocked, combat armor, and then shotguns. And that's it. Equipment. Um, Okie dokie. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Hey there! Oh, you're not CSEC, are you? Did you want something? I overheard you. What were you trying to explain to the officer before? My colleague is trying to kill me, and I thought we were friends. It's a serious How do you plan? know he wants you dead? He's changed. He won't talk to me at work anymore, and he started following me. Yesterday, he followed me all the way home just waiting for a chance I don't care what anyone thinks he wants me gone I know it how can I help is there something I can do uh, talk to your friend maybe would you that's all I want someone to talk to him tell him to leave me alone he thinks he can just push me around but you'll show him won't you hello to whoever just joined just tell me where he is and I'll go find him. Oh, right. Well, he wanted to meet with me down in the wards near the markets. He said he just wanted to talk, but I know better. His name's Shorban. He's a Salarian. You shouldn't have any trouble. He's just a scientist. Okay. Shorban. That's the guy who wanted us to scam the Keepers. Oh, right. The Keepers? Well, even more reason to go after him. That's against regulations. Good point. I better look into this right away. Find out what he's up to. Anything's possible with Shorbin these days. These days. Well, good luck. Bro's a nerd. Hello, Commander. Hello, Commander. Uh tracking terminal tracking terminal tracking terminal aha keeper scan hello again to whoever just joined how's things like and subscribe and yada 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 <laughs> i've said it a lot during this stream but please do like and subscribe and most importantly, just kick back and relax, dude. Um, is it down this way? The requisitions officer. Another keeper scan. There we go. Sec, looking you up. Commander Shepard, here with the Alliance Military. First time on the Citadel, that about right? Yep. How did you know all that? 
I'm the CSEC Requisitions Officer. I need to make sure our buyers are authorized. So, will you be purchasing anything today, Commander Shepard? Yes, please. Show me what you've got. Sounds good. Just let me set you up. Well, this must be a mistake. System's telling me to offer you our select stock. Spectre? Well, I heard about that, but I didn't realize it was you. Sorry, Commander. No Just problem. show me what you've got. I'll open the rare stocks for you, Commander. Enjoy. Oh, I fucking will. Um, yeah, everything is incredibly expensive. Uh, Aldrin Labs License. Oh, yeah. Buy that and then a grenade upgrade. And that's all I can afford because I only have like 2,000 credits. Um, where do I go from here? Missions. Expose Saren. Uh, the ambassador will provide you with the ship and crew. Meet him at the line stocking bay, accessible through the central elevator. Oh, yeah. Okay. In other news, Exogenicorp is still denying reports that one of their survey teams has gone missing in the Hades Gamma Cluster. When asked why communication as soon as, with the as, soon as I get in, onto the Normandy, week, I'm going to end the stream because I've been streaming for about an hour and a half. No. I've been streaming since... Seven. Yeah, so we're two hours, yeah. Hello, Tyra just joined again. for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. The ship is yours now. She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Treat her well, Commander. Okay. I'll take good care of her, sir. I know you will, Commander. Anywhere on Saren? What kind of leads do we have? Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. The conduit. He's got us Geth scouring the Traverse looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Ferro system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact, and there have been sightings around Noveria. Find out what Saren was after on Pharos and Noveria. Maybe you can figure out where the conduit is before he does. What about the Reapers? The Reapers are the real threat. I'm with the Council on this one, Shepard. I'm not sure they even exist. But if they do exist, the conduit's the key to bringing them back. Stop Saren from getting the conduit, and we stop the Reapers from returning. Not even going, not even going to be able to fight the feckin' Reapers until we'll fight the Reapers directly until Mass Effect Three. Hello again to whoever just joined. Like and subscribe, and have some fun and relax. Count I'll army. Stop him. We have one more lead, Matriarch Benezia, the other voice in that recording. She has a daughter, a scientist, who specializes in the Protheans. Liara. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau Cluster. I'll start with Pharos. The colonists on Pharos might still be alive. It's your decision, Commander. You're a Spectre now. You don't answer to us. Your actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. You make a mess and I get stuck cleaning it up. All right. I'll try not to make things any harder on you, Ambassador. Glad to hear it, Commander. Remember, you were a human long before you were a Spectre. I have a meeting to get to. Captain Anderson can answer any questions you might have. I don't have any questions. Bye. Sayonara, bucko. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. Decontamination in progress. What happened to Captain Anderson? Survives a hundred battles and then gets taken down by backroom politics. Just watch your back, Commander. If things go bad on this mission, you're next on their chopping block. I'm ready. Saren's out there somewhere, and we're gonna find him. Everyone on this ship's behind you, Commander. 100%. Intercom's open. You got anything you want to say to the crew? Now's the time. I need to be honest with them. This is Commander Shepard speaking. 
We have our orders. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. I won't lie to you, crew. This mission isn't going to be easy. For too long, our species has stood apart from the others. Now it's time for us to step up and do our part for the rest of the galaxy. Time to show them what humans are made of. Wherever Saren goes, we'll follow. Wherever he searches for the conduit, we'll be there. We will hunt him to the very ends of the galaxy and bring him down. Humanity needs to do this. Not just for our own sake, but for the sake of every other species in Citadel space. Saren must be stopped, and I promise you all, we will stop him. Well said, Commander. Captain will be proud. I won't let him down. The Captain gave up everything so I could have this chance. We can't fail. Yes, ma'am. Okie dokie. Well, just like how we start the stream, it's going to be how we, how we end the stream. This has been part two of the uh, Mass Effect 1 Chronicle. Um, so we did a good bit of progress. We saw some action. We talked to a lot of people, did some side quests, got some money, got some experience, leveled up about two times, I believe. Um, so, yeah. That's going to, uh, that's going to call it, really. We did, we made a lot of progress, we did a lot of stuff, um, we didn't really do a lot of story stuff, but like I said before in the last stream, this is primarily going to be a lot of cleanup, like I said before, I got a new trophy, um, for using, uh, an ability 25 times, so, um, yeah we're making progress slowly but surely i mean how many how many hours of progress do we have now three hours and 13 minutes of progress that is any progress is good progress so yeah i'm gonna call it there uh Thank you to everyone who joined the stream. Thank you to uh, everyone who was talking in chat. Thank you to everybody who even just popped in for a few minutes and then called it a day. It means a lot, and it really means a lot more than you think. But, um, yeah. This has been Commander Fanter. Is it Commander Fanter? Cut. Fuck. I'm fucking up the outro, fuck's sake. Um, this has been Commander Fanta. Commander Fanta. Commander Fanta. And, um, yeah. Thanks for joining. And I'll see you tomorrow at the, at the same time. 7 o'clock on the dot. And we will probably stream until the same time. 9pm. Anyways. See you around, and yeah, have fun.